Hi, where have I been? I fought my demons for 3 to 5 business days and I couldn't afford any downtime. Over a year ago, I made a guide on killing tier 2 endermen. Since many of you asked if this still works, I decided to challenge myself once again. Also, some of you are just flat out clueless, even though I made this video over a year ago. Last time I made a guide, most of you focused on my equipment, handsomeness, weapons, cleverness. Anyway, that was not what I wanted. What I wanted to show you is that you're incompetent. Two years ago, I made this video. It got zero views, which is deserved considering the Crystal Hollows dropped five days later. Thanks, Hypixel. I made a new profile in this video, which we'll use in this one. I worked roughly two days on upgrading the bestiary, which could have been an hour if half the islands weren't combat restricted, dungeons were possible early game, and more than one mob would spawn per server for five people. Yes. We all know I am talking about the Icewalkers. This profile has an awful skill average, stats, and everything in general. I will leave the Skycrypt link in the description for nerds and people trying to cope, I just had better stats. Also, if you do have worse stats than this account, bruh. So what do we need for murdering tall black people? You will need roughly 1000 defense, 2 hands, a wand of restoration, a bin bag, I mean under armor, a tier 2 katana, the predecessor of the Puppy Destroyer Mask, 300 magic power, preferably some shoes, any shoes really, about 600 mana, yes, including overflow, and a decently leveled Enderman pet, preferably epic or higher. We will set our talismans to itchy and our tuning points to equalize our stats, which will most likely be strength if you're following this setup. We will apply reinforced our bin bags and revive tar with rare diamonds, and add ultimate wise 5 to our katana and wand and reforge our katana with sharp for crit champ. Add a tiger plushie to our enderman and I will use unstable dragon boots with fierce because I'm broke and I need the extra crit chance. So how do we beat the boss with this setup? When the hit shield is activated, you want to use your katana ability to remove it, and otherwise just keep attacking it without the ability to conserve your mana. Make sure you keep the wand of restoration on yourself constantly, otherwise you're good as that. You only want to use the wand of restoration when it's about to run out. It does not stack, so if you spam it, you're wasting mana. Besides this, there's not much to the boss. If he throws a beacon, you go and collect it. The most ideal way to do this depends on your current circumstances. If you are low in mana or HP, stop attacking and run out of the boss's range to collect it. Otherwise, slowly move backwards towards the beacon while attacking the boss. Is this method flawless? No, nothing ever is. However, if you can't beat it while having the previously mentioned stats, skill issue. In the last video, people wanted to follow my setup completely even though they had better items. Probably. As long as you reach the outlined stats, no need to equip garbage. For example, I don't even reach 100% crit chance with my stats, so I'm legit gambling between doing a tiny amount of damage or none at all. Accessories. We haven't even mentioned them. In this video, I've used Ender Set as I wanted to handicap myself as much as I can, but realistically, you can rob the local dojo for their belt and do drugs with the wizard for his necklace. However, the Ender Set is pretty solid. You can stay with them. Especially if you have money to add extra reforges to them, they give quite a bit of stat boost. In my opinion, defense and attack speed are the two most vital stats for NBA slay. Defense is logarithmic, meaning the more you have, the less it matters. Kinda like felonies. Raising your defense to a thousand is highly recommended as it gives a 90% damage reduction for a relatively easy task. Attack speed, on the other hand, increases linearly. Well, at least until 82. So why do we need attack speed? Imagine you deal 40,000 per hit without it and 30,000 with it. While you attack twice to deal 80,000 normally, on steroids that would have been 3 to 4 attacks at the same time, dealing 90 to 120,000 damage. This comparison excludes enchants such as Thunderlord and Ferocity procs. Also, if you have more mana, you can use the katana's ability to deal damage instead of conserving your mana like I had to, which, once again, increases your damage output with attack speed. Last time, I advertised the video as the cheapest set possible. I want to make this one baiting noobs into using my strat. I mean, well yeah, that's, that's about it. Let's recount the amount of time and money you will need to get up to the same stage as my example profile. We will need at least combat level 20 to use the reforges, but my account is level 25 with bestiary 18. This should take roughly 2-3 to three days with casual play, zombie slayer 6, which will take roughly 2 hours, overall roughly 3 days and 2 hours. For the equipment, 
you will need Ender Armor and Accessories, which are technically free as they can't be bought. 200,000 for Unstable Dragon Boots, 700k for a Tier 2 Katana, 6 mil for a Vend of Restoration, and Revived Heart, a rough estimate of 500,000 for Reforges, roughly 10 million for every enchant, including enchanting table ones, and both Ultimate Wise 5. An epic Enderman pet will cost 500k level 1, and roughly 7 to 10 mil level 60 plus. Though I recommend leveling one along with yourself, or if you already have a high level rare Enderman, you can simply upgrade that cat for roughly 100,000 and 6 days. The Tiger plushie will cost 200k, this may vary if Diana isn't elected for a long time. To get enough accessories to reach too much magical power, that will cost roughly 30 to 40 million making it our biggest expense. Finally, the refresh we use are furballs, which will cost us roughly 1 million to purchase, making our overall setup cost roughly 69 mil. Alright, now we have covered everything, ranging from indirectly attacking people's comments, covering the setup, skillishing half the non, discussing the strategy, and evaluating the time and money investment this boss requires. That's it from me, bye.